Welcome back to M Hood Fishing, everybody. Today I am sitting right on top of my spot, which is right here. The plan is to get bait and food all in one spot, and then I want to move on to see if I can get a bass. Don't have high spirits about that, and I'm about to tell you why. Size 6 Aberdeen. I'm going to put a whole worm on there because we're looking for big shell crackers out of that drain. This is a storm drain that drains a neighborhood and there's usually fish back there this time of year if you're not from down here then maybe you don't know what's up but perhaps you can tell that it is extremely windy right now so yeah a massive cold air is moving through started coming in last night there was a bite we got knocked down into the 50s last night but tonight it could get as cold as 39 degrees. So today, yeah, I could get a bass. It's more likely today than tomorrow. It's gonna be even harder tomorrow. But really, we just want some bluegill, some shell cracker, maybe cichlids. If, if they're here, they should be. Oh, here we go. First fish is coming up. It's not a shell cracker, it's a bluegill. That'll make good bait. Check it out. The last time I was here getting shell cracker and other things through that grate, there was a at least one or two shell cracker. That's a red ear sunfish, right? There was at least one or two of those that would not fit through there very easily. Let's see what we do today. If we can get one that just barely squeezes through there. Might be wondering why I have quite a bit of worm hanging off that attracts the fish as i perch jerk that's what we call this i'm just kind of shaking it a little bit when i have no worm hanging off i usually don't get a bite right off and it tends to be a small fish that i catch with just a little bit of worm on there and nothing dangling here we go bait again very fired up piece of bait too nice and orangey right there it's a bluegill again beginning to wonder beginning to wonder i haven't been here very long haven't been at it for a good while yet but oh there was something right there where are the shell crackers is what i'm wondering are they there this bit of water that we're fishing it goes back a ways before yeah Maybe about half a block from here is where I think it stops. So the fish can be not just underneath us, but back this way up the, the uh, drain, about a half a block or so. And then just there's a, the end of it is right there on the other side of the trailer. Oh, oh, this is big and I don't think it's a fish. We're going to have to hand line this. It's probably going to snap. Here. I feel the weight coming out. But, yeah. The hook bent out. I think that was a turtle. I'm going to have to fix that and rebait that. There we go. There's a bite. And here's the fish coming through. Bluegill again. Here we go. Uh, nice here we go this is not very big again oh look at that little green trout nice little bass little tiny guy here we go it's not very big though this is really slowing down I had well, it's another green trout. I wonder if it's the same one. <clears throat> There's been a lot of time between catches. But it is not necessarily the main feeding time right now. There you go. Let's walk over to the ditch for a change of scenery so you're not staring at the ground the whole time. Oh, actually right down here 
Oh, I spooked him a little bit. Maybe I shouldn't have just dropped that so fast, but here we go. I found where the, look at that. That's a bigger gill. There's a lot of fish just right there. They're just hanging out right beneath us. I'm just gonna slowly drop this this time. When it hit the water, it kind of spooked them. Right off the bat. It's not big again. It's getting uh, wrapped around some weeds. It's a gill again though. So far, nothing big enough really to eat. I'm beginning to wonder if I'm going to eat my words. Oh. You know, I said I wanted to do a catch and cook, but who's to say if that's going to happen now? Might just be putting some bait in that soft cooler back there. But things could change. We could get something. Ooh, there we go. And we just did. We got a catch and cook. It's going to be a cichlid out of the drain good size one too hopefully i can get some more because that's not really enough to fill me up not enough for what i want to do i need at least two or three more and they don't have to be cichlids oh i don't mind if it's a mix shell cracker cichlid fillets just as long as they're not tiny i don't like filleting really small bluegill it takes like a lot to fill you up anyway this feels like it's bait and it is bait here we go oh it's a good size it's bait again though there we go that's a nice this is a nicer fish right here oh yes look at the size of that cichlid yeah get a one or two more like that and we're good we'll add that to the catch oh shoot oh i wasn't quick enough i didn't really want to get into that it's loose i could slip right down in there with that fish nice oh i don't think this is a fish It's definitely alive, but it's not a fish. I'm gonna have to come down here. Just gotta be real careful. There's so much loose stuff here. When you step on loose stuff, when you're on something steep like this, concrete, like a concrete embankment, that loose stuff will move underneath your feet and you'll slip. My line is caught on something here. Yep, it's a turtle. Popped right out. This is not big. There we go. Not big. Come down here, get a little bit out of the wind, or at least see if we can get out of the wind. I did see fish right here. There's a bit of a drop off where this the corrugated metal of the culvert ends right here in front of us. Sometimes there's bigger fish there. I've got a fish one right Ah, no. He took the bait and ran with it. I've caught really big cichlids right there. Cichlids seem to be attracted to concrete or anything rocky structure. He took my bait. Oh. Oh, no. Is it the same one? Ah. Can we be successful? I don't know. This feels pretty solid. Oh, yeah, we were successful. Got the hook back and everything. It's a bit, a bit of a mess here. But, yeah. Oh, perfect. I just got to bend that hook back. All right, so right there is pretty much where I was hitting a lot of fish. Could probably do it from this angle, too, because I have before. But it is shallower right there than it is right oh here we go i have some shoulders 
Look at that. Nice and fired up. It's a gill. Here we go. Not very big, but kicking up a lot of fuss out there. Gill again. Gill again. Ugh. Where's the skipper? Nice. There you go. Now that one's got a bit of shoulders on it. Nice. All right, guys, I'm going to forego looking for bass. I'm going to call it at two. Now let's go cook. Between here and there, I've actually shot a big catfish video before getting to here. That's why I decided to go ahead and cap this particular session at two cichlids and not mess around looking for dink bass there because that's usually what's there, dink bass. Because I knew that I was likely to run out and catch a catfish. Caught some nice big ones on the bait that was caught on this session. Of course, that'll be tomorrow's video. If you want a sneak peek, you can always follow me on Instagram. A lot of times when I have a big fish video coming out, there'll be a post there before here on YouTube. A lot of people ask, how did these fish get in our water? Probably from aquarium dumping, because this is a popular species in the aquarium trade. They are native to parts of America, North America. You'll find them native in South Texas and Mexico, but not here in Louisiana. This is a real grand cichlid. A lot of times I just call them cichlids and other people around here do as well, but that's a family of fish. There are all kinds of cichlids and these are the real grand ones. Some people these days are calling these Texas blues. There we go. Four very little fillets. They weren't the world's biggest real grand cichlids, but the first one, these two fillets was a good size and this one was smaller. I think it's going to be enough for what I'm going to make. Now, let me push these to the side here. I'm going to go ahead and cut the fillet off the skin. Got to keep that knife flat. Works good if the knife is sharp. This one's pretty sharp right now. Look at that. Left just about nothing on that skin. It's real important that you hold the back like this and not on top of the fillet. You gotta have your hand on the back, keep the knife flat, and there you go. Pull that off, there we go. Nothing on that skin, perfect. All right, so I need to rinse these off before I do anything with them. Actually, I need to make sure I don't have any bones here. Here we go, we're gonna marinate those fillets. We're gonna use this orange ginger. Put some of this on here. Get it, get it all mixed in there, push it down to where it's all about covered. Now I'm going to add some soy sauce to that as well. Shake that around. That's looking good. We're gonna put this in the refrigerator for a while while I do the other things I need to do. I'm gonna dice this up fine little bits. There we go. See the sizes? You don't have to do them that small. You could do them different. Already got this pan hot. Now it's time to put some sesame oil in there. 
good amount. Got some seasoning here. It's frozen. Onions, peppers, and celery. I'm gonna add some frozen peas. It actually has carrots in it, but I want more. That's good. Since everything I just added is frozen, I'm gonna, yeah, cover it and give it a second. And then we're gonna add some stuff. Now we're gonna add It's a mix of garlic and other things. It's a bit. Decided I would add some of this. This is bigger pieces of bell pepper and onion. Put my fresh carrots in there now. Time for this. A lot of times when I do this, and I've done this many, many times, somebody always freaks out. You shouldn't use the marinade. You've marinated the fish in. And I don't know why. I mean, you're going to cook it. It's all good. Now I'm going to leave it uncovered so it can kind of reduce a little bit. One thing I don't like about cichlids real grand cichlids is they're not a very oily fish therefore it's easy to overcook them and they'll come out really dry i kind of want them to go white i don't really want them to break up too much as i cook them all right we got that reduced to where i want it i'm gonna go ahead and cover it Shut the heat down because we're waiting on the rice. And here we go. Another storm drain catch and cook. It looks quite nice. Smells good too. Something wrong with it though. Ho ho ho. Yeah, that's right. Wow, that's good, it's not dry. Mm. I added those carrots with the idea that I didn't want to fully cook them. I wanted them to be kind of crunchy. Wow. It's gonna be a busy night. Mmm. This is perfect, not too heavy, kind of light. Mm. If I made something super heavy right now, I wouldn't be able to do what I gotta go do here in a sec. Gotta edit two videos in a row. Both of them, this one's not, I don't know, hopefully this one's not long, but the next one is. Mm. Tasty. <clears throat> you know I could have added more ginger actually rather than what was just in the marinade already could be could use a little more mm. but it is tasty yeah wow I'm hungry but I have a lot to do. The soy sauce really kicks it off good. Oh, very good actually. Hey, thanks for watching guys, liking, sharing, and subscribing, and I'll see you next time.